Now we will go through an example to study the effective annual rates and annuity concepts. Uh, this is for the CFA exam. The question is, John's father will retire in 10 years. John plans to pay his father 30k annually starting 10 years from now. Assume he is able to invest at 5%, compound Samuel annually. How much should he invest today in order to meet his plan? So what are being tested in this question? It tells you uh, whether you know what is effective annual rate. It tells whether your understanding of the concepts and equations used for the annuity. Of course, it also tells you the net present value. So let's draw the timeline, and then we will have a better picture. So starting from today, t equal to 0, 10 years later, at 10 equal to 10, his father will retire. And at that time, he will pay his father 30k per year continuously every year. And the question is how much he has to invest today. And the rate is at 5% compounded semi-annually. OK. So the first thing is that we have to find the effective annual rate. Why? This is because the interest is compounded semi-annually. In order to simplify the calculation, we should find the effective annual rate first. And it is easy if you remember the equation for effective annual rate. In this question, it should be 1 plus 5% divided by 2 to the power 2 minus 1. And this gives you 5.0625%. OK. Then how about for the annuity? Annuity is an infinite flow cash flow stream. So we want to find the net present value of this annuity. But it is not easy. So what we can do is to find the net present value when t equal to 9. Okay? So we can use this equation. 30k divided by the interest rate. This equation, I think probably you are familiar with it. But remember that it gives you the net present value the year before the first cash flow. Okay, So we are finding the NPV at t equal to 9 instead of t equal to 10. And note, note that we are using the EAR in this equation. Okay, So now we know that all this cash flow is just equivalent to one single cash flow at t equal to 9 with value equal to 593k. And then the rest is what is the net present value at t equal to 10 for this cash flow. This is easy. All we have to do, just do an equation. MPV equal to 593k divided by 1 plus the rate to the power 9. Okay, So the answer is 380k. So John has to invest 380k today in order to meet his plan.